Hello. What? Is thing on? Alright, good. So, um, I've been seeing that some people have many issues. They've been following these blender tutorials as I'm making new skeletons and all that stuff. You don't ever really need to do that unless your model has no bones. So, I recommend always grabbing a model with bones, and that's what I have right here. We have a model with bones. This is Darko City. Uh, well, he has bones. Let's see. His bones control his head bones, body bones. Very cool. This is Robin from Justice 2 Mobile. He also has bones. These are his bones. He has a Xanolara model. I got him off the Most, there's some really good models on there. So what I'm gonna do is, I got the buttons on screen right there this time, so everything should be good. Press pose mode. And then just grab the bone you want. R, rotate. Get the angle, rotate. Oh, pick it up a little. I like to do that. I like to grab this lower part. It's just for our composers, because every game is going to pose and put it down. These hands are freaking well, clownishly large compared to Arkham City Tens. So we're just gonna uh, try to shrink it down. Hands are a pain. I've said this in the last sort of the hands are a pain. If you're ever gonna rig anything, like if you don't have to rig hands or faces, don't do it, because it's not worth it. But I will uh give you the gist of it anyway. What you do is you pose it up. You know, right. I'm not going to get right with this model, because this model doesn't even have all the finger bones. But I'll give you a general gist of what you're supposed to do. Just pose them how they need to be. As lined up with these fingers as they can. You don't want these fingers to be touching. You also don't want these fingers to... freaking... to not be in the right spot at all. Because then you're just not going to move right. Like I said, when I do look at this one, right, this literally uses one bone for all three of these fingers, so that's not happening. But just a little just I'm not trying to make a mod and trying to show you guys what you need to do to do it. Like if you actually like put the time in and line everything up, make sure everything's as line as can. Maybe even grab these fingers with edit mode, move them around. Rig them with another thing like mix them up. Try to get these fingers all on a single rig. It'd be pretty cool. It might work. I don't know. I haven't tried to mix them up with uh, Arkham yet. And then, the same thing to the arm over here. I heard there's a way for you to do it uh, all at once. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I've never looked into that. I will look into it and see if it's possible. But I've never heard of it until like a couple days ago, to be honest. So, I just do it this way. It works this way. You want to line up finger. Line them up as good as you can. Like I said, this one, this model is like kind of not happening because the bone's being able to break the one finger. Like, I know a lot of you want port mobile models, and I don't mind that, but try to find mobile models that have all the fingers right because these are, these are not going to work. <laughs> You're going to have to do a lot more of these and just import and pose them. If you want to get them perfect, or at least as close to perfect as you can, because nothing can be perfect. Uh, wait, yeah, I guess that's fine. So you can see now his arms in the same spot. You're gonna do grab his leg, get his leg in the same spot, rotate the arm right there. These legs are already in a pretty good spot, so let's leave that alone. Now, what I like to do, I like to join these. Now you're joined. Now we're gonna open our Robin. This is Robin, he's in our compose, or somewhat within our compose. We're gonna go and go here. Uh, apply. Now we go here. Over here. Remove all weights. Now this model is it's stuck in this place and it has no weights. Go to the Arkham City model. Click that. Weight. Transfer weights. By name. Now, this Arkham model has all these weights. Now, what I like to do, I like to re-import the Arkham City model, just because now we join it and 
we just joined it for the weights. We didn't join it for anything else. So let's re-import that Arkham City model. There he is, he's back. And let's go on edit mode. I want all this kind of stuff. I'm just gonna get all that kind of stuff. Because that is what we want. Or at least just like his name. And his face. Face, I'm asked. He's not gonna have face effects unless you guys like really go in and rig it, which I don't even think we can get perfect at the moment because manual rigging doesn't even work. <laughs> manual weight editing, I'm sorry. Manual weight editing doesn't even like really work at the moment. You try manually editing something, it just breaks the entire freaking thing and then I don't know what's up with that, but hopefully that gets fixed. I think this is pretty much his entire head. He's always the same texture, so you don't have to be too careful on it, but yeah, I like to be careful. Okay, now we're gonna click P in my selection. That's his head, this is his body. Now we're going to go here. Let's open up these Robin uh, models. Look, I'm hiding it. Click Robin, it's right here. Find his head, this is his head one. Draw clock. Parent, object, key transform. Now we have our head. We're going to shift, drag it over here, over into the new armature. There it is. It's in the new armature. I don't know if it needs this name, but we'll keep it with this name. And we'll go here, add our, our modifier, armature. And you want to assign it to the head armature. So if it moves with the body, that's a no-go. If it moves with the head, that's good. Let's see. More moves good. So the same as the body. Actually, for the body, I'm going to show you a different way. This is a uh, different way of doing it. I do it something like this sometimes. I grab the body in edit mode. Only do it in edit mode if you do it this way. Because you will move the origin and it will break your mod. I like to move them out of the way. Go to his UV maps. Copy the name of his UV map. Go to my new model. Put that name. Face. And unselect the other model. And now we can delete these. We need to more. We have our Robin. And we have our body. You have PC, you can move. You will have to turn off face effects in a UPKE by going to the properties and setting the face effects assets and all. But, I mean, you got the model. If all you wanted was the model and you didn't really care about the face effects, this is it. It's rigged. And it's ready to go. I'm going to show you one more thing. So, the head. You want to make sure that it has the same or less materials than the original because more crashes. So we're just going to set everything to this one since it all uses the same texture. The same with the body. It all uses one texture so there's really no reason to use two. It will do that to its texture, but that's fine. In UPK, you can put his actual texture, it's fine. I mean, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'll, uh, show my export settings. I know it's not gonna show on OBS, but, uh, I'll show my export settings. And then you just import into, uh, UPKE and you hope it works. I am not a pro on UPKE or material or textures or anything like that. So I'm not going to show that, but I am just showing how to set up a model port, how to set it up in general and just get it working. And I hope it helps you out. If anything, any questions, I'm always there. You know my Discord, I'm always there. And um yeah, I just uh hope that this can possibly help someone out. And if it does, that's all I want. All right, guys. 
Peace.